We're not going to go into the battery architecture. This is actually going to live on our sample drive. So this is going to come with you anywhere you go. Um, these battery kits can be available anywhere you bring your drive. So now that that's in Kicks, we're going to come up here. We're going to go to Save Kit. So now we're going to navigate to the exact same place. So now this is my sample drive, Kicks, Kick here, Cashmere. This is exactly what we just imported right here. You also want to keep a consistent naming approach. So here's how I like to name things right here. These are my user kits and battery. Here's your factory. So I like to go kick and then just the manufacturer and then let's say the name of the kit. So that's what I'll do. So we'll come up here, file, save kit as. We're going to navigate to the exact place on the hard drive where those kicks live. So we're here and then we're just going to go kick. We're going to go cashmere and then what was it? Big kick. Right here, you want to do patch only, which is just the patch, just the thing that tells battery to find it. If you already have your samples here, you just do the patch. If you don't have the samples and you want to just save the samples and the patch together in whatever file, then you would click here. And there they go. Now you see that battery just added this little thing, this little battery icon. That is essentially the, the, the kit. Um, and so now that is in there. Now you can take it a step further and you can also save this as a preset in your DAW. 